Hey, my friend Herbie sent me this book, 16 Tons, The Merle Travis Story, by Merle Travis and Deke Dickerson. So Merle had written quite a bit down and had uh, a lot of information for Deke to arrange and tell a story. Deke Dickerson, you should look that guy up. He's incredible. So I'm reading about uh, how... Uh, so Merle Travis is the guy that uh, is credited with Travis picking... And they're talking about uh, kind of the the source of that style where you use your thumb and then sort of a bass. It might have like a with um, some chords or passing chords, melody, kind of counter. What do you call that when it's uh, syncopation? Um, Travis picking, I do like a, a bad version of it. I kind of go. Um, that, that's just me kind of copying the sound, but it's more of, it's usually just the index finger of the picking hand. I got a lot of work to do, but so I do my own thing. Also. So my friend Herbie sent me this book. He also sent me a CD, a few CDs, a few Merle Travis CDs. And uh, one song that really blew my mind is the Cannonball Rag. And again, I'm just figuring out the chords, but it's based on these. E7 or E to an A to a D to a G. Which is really interesting because um, you can get some amazing patterns out of that. Um, if you take it up the neck and do it sort of like a... That's uh, the C-shaped E7. That's like a seven, six, seven, five, E, G sharp, D, and E. And you can hit all six. Your alternate bass note would be the B. is whatever you can get down around here. There's a ton of variations I think you could come up with, but I did something like, uh, well, let's just do a bar chord. I'll avoid the thumb over the top, even though that's part of Merle Travis's style. I'd probably go... That's an A7, A, E, G... C sharp, E, A, five, seven, five, six, five, five. Then your D7, which is just like the E7, but down two frets to five, four, five, three. So my right hand is totally not disciplined. I just do completely whatever I want to do. Um, so there's your D. So again, it's E, A, D, then G. The one weird thing about that is your ring finger could stay the same. The G7 is the three. See, see what I mean? And so really the ring finger just goes... But uh, G is three, five, five, four, three, three, G, D, G, B, D, G. 
I just kind of stumble that style. It's, but it's still, the chords are kind of what I'm really interested in here. Um, now, if you do uh, the second, or the third and fourth strings, you can get that line going straight down the neck, which is chromatic. That's where it gets wild. Um, so that's a six and a seven, a five and a six, a four and a five, a three and a four. And those are basically from these chords. Let's just do the second, third, and fourth strings and see what we come up with. So that was a hunk of the first chord, the E7, the 5, 7, 6. So I'm just kind of turning the chord inside out a little bit here. Okay, so we're going to flat two notes. The E stayed the same. So again, that's six, seven, five, down to five, six, five. Ring finger just slides down one fret. While middle and uh, index have to kind of switch. Then we're going to go down, the ring finger goes down one more fret, and you put together the next thing, the D7, which is a 4, 5, 3, F sharp, uh, C, D. All right, I'm going to start over. G7, which is 3, 5, 3, F, B, D. So you just, okay, so you start with the first shape, E7, go down to the A7, then reuse the first shape down here to D7, and then do the second shape down here at G. So basically you got two shapes, you're just moving them down. So. If you listen, it just sounds like old time cool music. Uh, if you check the second string and that's stays the same on the first two chords and the last two chords. Third string otherwise goes Sorry, no, I started on the wrong fret. There we go. <laughs> Seven, six, five, four. Wow, there's all kinds of harmony in there. Holy smokes. From the chords and fourth string. E7, A7, D7, and G7. So it's just endless the things you can uh, pull out of those four chords. And uh, yeah. Crazy. You could do more open strings. Though 
Those are some far out chords, so it's like an E7. Like an A9. This is a D69, probably a 13 or something. That one sounds kind of far out. And then your G, it's like a G, it's got a six and a flatted seven, so I think that's a 13. You know, you could add the bass notes, but uh, let's see what that's like. Mm -hmm. 